So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And today guys, I bring you another brand new rune farm taking place within the DLC. This is definitely the best with inside the DLC Shadow Realm. I don't think anything will ever top Mogwin Palace's Hill. Uh, but this is coming quite close to it. But it takes a little bit more work in regards to running around. It's like a route we run. Um, once we get to the end of it guys I'm thinking like 160,000 runes uh, it takes about 45 seconds to run it maybe and I ain't on new game plus remember that if you're on new game plus one two three four these runes for double triple quadruple you name it people uh, how's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so first things first this takes place within uh, Ener Elam so to even do this guys you need to get beyond that point of no return Burning that ceiling tree, taking out Mesmer, uh, the Impaler, and then the Saint of the Bod, which takes place uh, in this place right here. So if you can get to Ena Elam, you can do this straight away. Uh, and it takes place from the first Rise Grace Point, which is the first one you come to. Uh, so you're spawning from here and you run around, which I'll show you the route to in a quick second if you just get into here. Uh, but first things first, guys, the actual run itself. Now it requires the Sacred Relic Sword, there's no two way to battle it. You want to build into Holy Damage, um, Skill Damage, right? so I'm using here my Crusade Insignia. Raises Attack Power after defeating an enemy, it works wonders here. Uh, raises Attack Power when HP is at a maximum, amazing. Gold Scarab because we want increased runes, but to be honest, if you want to go with even more damage you can, but I don't think you need it. We're also using guys to Shard of Alexander and also on my flask I'm using the Thorny Craft here. This boosts successive attack power, which I don't really think I need, uh, but it's been on, been in here for since my last build. And then we're using the um, Holy Shroud and Craft here, which temporarily boosts holy attacks, which works with the Sacred Relic Sword. Simple as that, but you can use incantations to boost your damage too if you want to, and you'll see what I mean why you may need this, depending. So hey, it's gonna run this way guys, and I'll show you exactly how this works. Now I'm naked because I can move faster, and there's actually three ways of running this farm. You can run it three ways. I'll show you the first one, which is the one I run. So from here, guys, drop, I just drink my drink. And from here, stand here and pop that. You'll kill these two. And you get quite a lot from them. Then you stand here, guys, and you spray this twice. So you kill that big fella there. Just like so. And you can run out, guys. You sword swipe all these. Just like so. Ton of runes, people. Ton of runes, people. Then you stand here, swipe these just like that. Then, guys, you come here and you swipe these, these two just like that. Then you want to drink your cerulean tears. Then you want to jump down here. And you see these two here. You can swipe these, take them two out. Then we're going to run around the back side of this tree anti clockwise. There's two flies going to drop down here. They're going to follow me. I'm going to run this way. I'm going to stick as far right as I can. I'm going to jump over here because if you don't, he'll latch onto you. And you're going to run past you. One's going to fall down. And then, guys, you're going to stand here, turn around, and take them all out. Simple as that, people. Simple as that. And then you simply rinse and repeat. It really is as simple as that. That's all you've got to do. No stress, no struggle. As soon as you get the timing down perfectly, you are good to do this. It's miraculous, it's crazy guys. So yeah, again from the first rise, which I actually show you the uh, location to now. Um, so if we go here, this is the first race you will come to upon you actually landing in here, taking out that ceiling tree. So from that outer wall, just run this way. And it's as simple as this. There's only one enemy in your way you can easily get around. You haven't got to worry about him whatsoever. I mean, it's the first race you'll come to, but just in case people are unaware of their position so you've got this big guy up here and you can simply he's going to fire out these things at me forget them run straight past him try not to get clapped by him just run straight forward and you can see we're at the grace already it's literally from here people that's it that is it i'm just going to sit down because he's probably chasing my ass yes he is <sighs> okay so again from the first rise grace point this is the second way of running it I mean, you can just run it, a, well, quicker, I guess. But uh, what I will say is, is why you won't earn as much runes, obviously. You simply just ignore them on two on the right there. Uh, you drink your flask here. Or if you use incantation, you can do that. Stand here, guys. 
can take them out from afar. But sometimes the big guy here will jump. Sometimes they jump, sometimes they don't when you do it this way, which is what I've noticed. And again, just take them out. And then you can just simply run back to the grace or fast travel back to the grace. That's completely up to you, because when you take them ones out, you haven't got eyes on other enemies from you. So you can either do it that way too. Or you can just do it the way you run through the door on your right hand side, take out the two enemies, take out all of them outside, but don't jump down to them weird looking uh, bugs. So again, first rise, run this way. Got your flasks, use it. Golden Vow, use it. Anything to increase attack damage, because don't forget these are quite hard hitting enemies up here and they take quite a bit of damage to take them out. Okay, so stand here guys, at the door. If you don't stand at the door, that one on the right hand side won't pop out, so you won't get him. Then stand here, and again, take him out. Hopefully you'll see that guy jump, but sometimes he'll jump. Sometimes he jumps, yeah, but if you stand to a nice distance back, he won't jump, which is what you've got to remember. Again, you can just kill these. Take out these here as well. I should always forget about this there, but he just ignores you. Completely just ignores you. And then you can just take these two out. And again, just fast travel back to the point. Rinse and repeat, guys. It really is as simple as that. It really is that simple. And I'm using the Sacred Relic Sword, if you're wondering what this is. This is the sword that comes from the Elden Beast, the main games before the CL came out. His remembrance, you take him out, you get his remembrance. Go to finger read at the round table, cash it in, get the Relic Sword, level it up to a level 10 needs to be done the best weapon in the game for farming any rune farm in the game in regards to earning a ton of runes so yeah one more run of the whole thing so again from the first rise let's run let's run people let's run you can see all the runes i have it's just from here it's just from here that's 2.1 million 2 million 143 thousand now uh, you guys do the maths of what i'm earning here and again I'm not on New Game Plus. If I was on New Game Plus, this would be even crazier. Even crazier. So again, step back a bit. Fire from here. Don't go out the door because she jumps out here. Oh, I failed that miserably. See the jump? See the jump? That's what I was talking about. That jump there. That's what she can do to get too close. So keep that in mind. And that will, it won't really ruin the, It just makes it take a little bit longer. It'll make the route take a little bit longer. But hey, does it matter? I'm an extra five seconds. Take them two out. Take them two out. Use your flask. Replen that FP. And jump down here. Take these two out. These two, no matter what you do, I've tried to grab their attention. You can't get their attention unless you hit them, which you may as well just kill them. Then run around here, because I wanted to get their attention so they followed me with this herd of bugs. Come this way again stick right here because that guy will latch onto you and stick right here too because that guy will fall down on you and get you two stand here turn shoot and it really is that simple guys pick up any juiciness if you wanna and that is basically the farm rinse and repeat and it is that simple and there we have it guys another brand new farm inside of the shadow of the earth tree dlc again don't forget you can be using your your pickle feet too they're called pickle feet you obviously want to be using a gold scarab uh, just search youtube for a guide on that i've probably posted 20 or 30 myself um if you want to craft an item to earn even more you can do these two the gold pickle foul feet sorry what did i say pickle with <laughs> i'm an idiot but yeah you can farm for these there's plenty of spots plenty of guides and i can get these two these will boost um your rune acquisition but when you reset it at a grace it wipes it so unless you've got plenty of these uh, to be wasting, I don't really think it's worth your time doing it, if I'm honest with you. But hey, that's just me. But there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more, Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree Guides, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.